you turn off the lights and suddenly your toy, your watch, or that weird dinosaur sticker on your wall starts glowing. No batteries, no wires, just pure chemical magic or a very polite form of radiation. It's called phosphorescence. And it's not the same thing as fluorescence. Fluorescence glows while it's being lit. Phosphorescence, it glows after the lights go out. My, like a ghost that's just a little late to the party. Here's how it works. When light hits certain materials, the energy gets absorbed by their electrons, but instead of bouncing right back, some of that energy gets stuck in what scientists call a metastable state. Translation, the electron's basically saying, ugh, fine, I'll glow, but uh, I'm going to take my time. And uh, so it slowly releases that energy as visible light. That's why glow in the dark things glow in the dark, even hours later. Now here's where it gets creepy. In the early 1900s, glow-in-the-dark watches were the latest tech. They used radium paint, which is, well, radioactive. The glow was real, the danger also real. The factory workers were mostly women. They hand-painted the tiny numbers on each watch. To sharpen the brush tip, they licked it. Over and over, radioactive paint, straight into the mouth. They were later known as the Radium Girls, and their suffering helped launch major reforms in worker safety, science ethics, and the phrase, don't lick glowing things. Today, you don't need radioactive goo to make things glow. We use safer phosphorescent materials like strontium aluminate or zinc sulfide, long-lasting, bright, and not toxic mostly. So next time something glows in the dark, appreciate the chemistry and be very, very grateful. It's not trying to kill you. If you made it this far, you're now 12% more radioactive with knowledge. Subscribe for more glowing mistakes from science history.